Hello everyone, this is Rachel, the promotions director from 917 The Edge. We have another staff member that we're going to feature this week and ask him our 20 questions with the e-board, and that is Dan Miller! What's How's going it going, on? Dan? Uh, it's going pretty well. That's uh, good. I think I'm ready to, to answer questions. It's All right. The best way that I can. Well, that's good, because I got a lot of them. All 20 right. of them. 20. All right, so let's my, do it. My first question is, what is the best song? What is the best song? Yeah. Um, that's a great question. Uh, at the moment, I would have to say that the best song is uh, is probably, free, uh, it's called Free Fall by Rainbow Ooh. Kid and Surprise. Uh, Didn't you just see them at a concert? Yeah, that's why it's the best song right now. Oh, okay. Because uh, it's stuck in my head and it's a really, really good song. Gotcha. What did you want to be when you were little? Uh, I wanted to be a couple of things. Uh, number one was a firefighter. I wanted to be a firefighter because uh, my grandpa was one, and I feel like that's every little kid's dream to be like either a policeman or a firefighter. Um, and then I wanted to be a history teacher for a while. Oh. And here I am doing neither of those things. So <laughs> uh -huh. give up on your dreams is what I'm saying. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> um, this one's kind of a weird one. What was your favorite age? Oh, man, my favorite age. Um, I don't know. There's like some good things about every year except for like 20. 20 <laughs> was kind of just a, a weird year. Nothing happened. Yeah. Uh, 18 was pretty cool. Um, I feel like 12 though. Maybe like the 11 to 12 area. Why? Um, cause back when I was, you know, like a little kid in that age, uh, I had like my three friends that lived in the same neighborhood as me and we would just like spend like every day outside, like just messing around in the woods uh, you know, just playing hockey or playing soccer, and it was just, like, the best time. Cute. I love it. Yeah. What's your favorite quality about yourself? Um, I think that I'm funny. And I think that me thinking I'm funny is a good thing <laughs> to have, to uh -huh. think about. Because uh, I always make myself laugh, and occasionally I make other people laugh, too. I feel that. I feel that. If you had to pick one food to eat for the rest of your life, what would it be? <sighs> Probably pho. Which is a what Vietnamese is that? soup. It's, it's like a like super brothy Vietnamese soup. And it's, it's so good. It's the best thing ever. You can have it for breakfast. You can have it for lunch. You can have it for dinner. Oh, you can have it when you're sick. You can have it when you're healthy. And you can put anything you want in it. And it's usually amazing. Wow. That sounds good. I'll have to try that. Um, what was something you did as a child that your family still makes fun of you for? Um, when I was real little, like maybe like three, four, five range, uh, I would only eat noodles. Oh. I was super picky eater and just about every day, uh, whenever I'm eating something, you know, like really fancy with my parents, they're like, oh man, remember when you just used to eat noodles? <laughs> and like, it's gotten real old. Uh-huh. Noodles are a good food though. I they can, are. I can see where that would come from. <laughs> um, if you had to change your name, what would you change it to? It's a really good question. Um, <laughs> when I was in middle school, uh, I used to make YouTube videos with my friends, and we each gave ourselves a different name, and the one I gave myself was Derek. Um, okay. I don't know why. I guess I just kind of like the name Derek. Um, I feel like there's a lot of like cool people named Derek. Yeah. Like, I hear someone's name is Derek, and I'm like, ah, he must be cool. Yeah, it's Derek. You yeah. Know? It's, um, I don't know. I'd probably keep Miller. I like Miller. Um, but yeah, Derek. Or maybe Hans, just because I think it sounds kind of... Hans. Yeah. You know? yeah. It sounds very noble. Yeah. You know, yeah. maybe I just say that because it's the guy from Frozen, but I don't know. <laughs> it's a good point. I never <laughs> thought about that. What is the best prank you've ever been a part of? <laughs> um, so back in high school, uh, on April Fool's Day, uh, one of my friends, uh, and I won't say his name for you know the sake of this, um, we had a plan to take a picture of my friend's truck and put it up on Craigslist with his phone number and his email address, uh -huh. and he listed it as free. And he put something along the lines of like, oh, the thing runs great, I don't want it anymore, get it out of my sight. What's up, John? Hi, John. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> uh, We're just doing Dan's 20 questions. Oh, yeah. cool. Uh, but so, <laughs> we put it up, and then we had third period together. And the entire class, is, oh, his phone was going off with, like, people calling him, people texting him, being like, hey, like, I want your truck, you know, I'm so-and-so. And, -so. <laughs> and he's like, I don't understand why all these people keep calling me asking about my truck. And then we showed him the Craigslist ad, and he was 
furious. <gasps> oh no. Yeah, this is pretty solid. Oh man. Is he okay about it now? Yeah. yeah okay. I think so. That's yeah, good. We're still good friends. That's good. So what's your dream concert? Um, dream concert would be, it'd be kind of a weird mix. Uh, it would be like Father John Misty opens up for like Fiddler. Uh, so then you have the really mellow kind of like awesome showman and then Fiddler comes in at the end and then everybody goes wild and you know, maybe you break a, a, a kid's collarbone or something oh. you know, like, just in the mosh pit and you're having a good time and who knows anything's possible. Man, those that, concerts. that doesn't sound like a dream for the poor kid's collarbone though. <laughs> if you could be president of the United States for one hour, what would you do with that time? <laughs> I could say a lot of things. Um, the most logical one that I would do is I would immediately make an executive order that uh, term limits congressmen. All right. Sounds like a plan. That's all I'm going to say on that matter. <laughs> what would you name your firstborn child? Uh, if it's a girl, it's going to be Chelsea. If it's a boy, it's probably going to be Lee. Love it. Love or it. Jenny. I like Jenny, too, for a girl. Yeah. Uh, what is something that everyone else loves but you hate? Pickles. <gasps> Why? See? Exactly. Everybody loves oh, it. But when I John, talk, do you love pickles? I can't deal with you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no, I've just never liked pickles. Um, my dad makes homemade ones every year, and I just can't get into it. Man. All of my roommates think that pickles are like the greatest snack ever. And people even drink pickle juice. And when I see somebody drinking pickle juice, I almost want to throw up. Yeah, I can't do pickle juice, but pickles in general are... I'm, I can be a fan. Can't do it. So, cake or pie? Uh, pie. All day. Uh, apple pie. Blueberry pie. Solid. Blueberry, a berry pie, raspberry, blueberry, cherry pie. I like pie. Pie is a good choice. Do you speak any other languages? Um, I can speak enough Spanish to get me through uh, a situation, uh, but I definitely don't consider myself fluent in it. And I can also say some cuss words in German. Ah, huh, solid. So what's your claim to fame? What is my claim to fame? Um, <laughs> a couple of ones. Uh, I got a shout out on a podcast once. Uh, I can't say the name of the podcast because I don't think it'd be appropriate for this. Um, oh. But uh, that was probably like the coolest moment in my life. Um, and then uh, I like once had like a semi-viral video on YouTube. Ooh, what was it? Um, it was me and some friends from middle school, and uh, I'll just leave it at that because it was super <laughs> embarrassing. But it got like a, like eleven thousand views in a couple of days. Oh my so gosh! We're really proud of ourselves. I'm gonna try to search for that. You can't, it's gone. Oh. I made sure it was gone, and it will never see the light. Dan. So, what was your favorite thing to do in elementary school when you got to go to the computer lab? Oh man, there was this game. I don't remember what it was. It might have been like a jumpstart kind of game. Okay. You know, it was like jumpstart, like fourth grade or third grade or whatever. Um, and you had to do like, it was, you know, these like little learning games, you mm -hmm. know, like some you had to type, some you had to do math. But it was on like this like tropical like pirate island. And uh, whenever you did enough games, right, you got to go and pick a piece of treasure out of like oh. this big treasure thing. And so my friends and I were always competing to see who got the most treasure. Oh, that's fun. Have you ever won any sort of contest? Um, let's, let me think about that. Um, I don't think so, but I've shared in the spoils of somebody else's win. Um, Explain. One of, one of my childhood friends a couple summers ago won uh, a flight to Virginia to see Good Charlotte. Oh. And uh, he was like, hey, you want to come on this with me? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so it was like, got there and all we had to do was like pay for food and transportation. That's Hotel so was cool. Paid for, flight was paid for, tickets were paid for. Oh my gosh. So that was a pretty good deal. So what is your favorite game? Oh man. This is a really tough one. Um, cause that kind of, that's like music. It fluctuates. Mm -hmm. Um, probably though all time, if I had to say like favorite video game is probably Fallout New Vegas. Um, Probably done more hours of that thing than anything else. Um, and then probably, like, in favorite non-video game is probably the Cards Against Humanity. That's a classic. Yeah, I could Gotta. play that for hours. 
That is always great. Uh-huh. So if you were an ice cream flavor, what flavor would you be? Um, there's a, uh, man, I think it's at, um, there's this place in Arizona. It's an ice cream shop. I don't remember what it's called, but it's like a chain ice cream shop. And they have like a brownie batter Ooh. that is unlike any brownie batter I've ever had. Um, it's got like brownies and like chocolate chips and like chocolate fudge syrup and chocolate ice cream. Uh, and it's just delicious. And I like to think that I would be the brownie batter because I have so many interesting layers. Ah. And I think I would taste pretty good. <laughs> so if you couldn't study journalism, what would you study? Um, actually, I was talking with my mom about this a couple weeks ago. If I were to not study journalism, uh, I would probably have a history major with a religious studies minor. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah. And it fits well together, too. History is my minor right now. And so I could easily make that a major, and I like studying religion, so I totally get involved in more religion classes. All right. Well, those are all my 20 questions I have for you, Dan. Do you have anything you want to say to the people of Facebook? Um, I don't know. If you listen to the station, you can check out my new show, uh, The Weekly Warhawk, every Friday at 10 a.m. Um, otherwise, I don't know. 91.7 The Edge Rules. True that, true that. That's all I got. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Next week, we're going to have our station manager, Amanda, as our featured staff person. So you'll have to tune in then, and you'll get to meet her. See you next time.